Democrats have been aching for a charismatic leader to run statewide. You know, they're looking for the next Ann Richards. Poor George. He was born with a silver foot in his mouth. Wendy Davis was some combination of Hale, Zeus, and Jesus. The people of Texas have spoken. She still lost her race for governor in 2014 by 20 points. I'm running to represent the great state of Texas in the U.S. Senate. I am launching my campaign for re-election to the United States Senate. I think there is a stark difference in this election. Is talking about single-payer politically suicidal in Texas? I don't know, because I didn't pull it. He seems to be running hard left, like Bernie Sanders. In the more than five years since Sandy Hook, we have done nothing to make our kids safer in school. He is proud of his F rating from the NRA. This is not a state that is receptive to a Democratic candidate for statewide office. A Democrat has not been elected statewide since 1998, I think. In the last senator election, the Democratic opponent to Ted Cruz lost by more than a million votes. How do you hope to address that? I'm not going to leave my family for two years, kill myself in the process, and come up a million votes short. I'm going to work my heart out. I'm going to walk my shoes off. I'm going to be in every one of these 254 counties, making sure that when 2018 comes, we have something to celebrate for Texas and for this country. There is a new poll out that shows you within three points of Senator Cruz. We raised $6.7 million. Full endorsement for this man, Ted Cruz. Where's that? I divide the world into combatants and civilians. What Donald Trump has done has converted more civilians into combatants. <laughs> This is a warning, talking about the press as the enemy of the people, a lack of sense of what democratic institutions are about, a president who has no regard for the law. There's a lot of anger on the far left. I'm not going to believe that any of these outbreaks of resistance will amount to a hill of beans until I see the same people who are carrying signs in these marches show up to vote when really you can affect the lives of people. Otherwise, it's just theater. Listen, in this electoral environment, shit happens. This race reminds me of the Wendy Davis race. We've already seen lots of media love directed Congressman O'Rourke's way. It wouldn't surprise me if this movie paints him as a, you know, liberal hero, challenging, great, oppressive, you know, that narrative would be a very natural narrative for this movie.